Hi guys, how you doing? This is me, Stu at Coruscant, with another video for you guys. So here I am unboxing the uh, Vintage Collection VEs from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, so just before we get started, please go ahead and uh, like the video, give a comment and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, lots of uh, good stuff coming and hope you enjoy this video. So yeah, a lot of you might be asking why I'm uh, going to unbox this. You know, it's quite... Um, Getting a little bit expensive on the secondary market, but um, you know, the bubbles just lifting up a little bit there, which brings down the value, of course. And you know, um, you still get a bit of money for it, but I'm happy to add this to the collection and um, yeah, enjoy the figure really, because that's why we collect, right? So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Enough of me waffling on. So here we have VE's VC uh, 137. Uh, these are the other figures that were in that wave. Uh, I've got the so uh, I've got all of them actually, apart from this Lando, which I um can't find, but I'm sure I have it. <laughs> uh, yeah, card back um from um is that Jabba's Palace? Yeah, Jabba's Palace. Um, looking great. I do have the actual vintage version of this, which is in a video I did quite a while ago. So go check that out if you um. Want to search through the archives, <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, stop talking and get this out. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but look at that. There you go. Probably the cleanest card I've ever um, opened. And there we have these in the plastic. <laughs> Interesting face sculpt there. Interesting character, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so he is. This was a um, pattern figure for the um, uh, what is it? Jabba's um, playset, where you had like the backdrop of uh, you know the walls in the playset, and you had um, Han Solo in carbonite as well. Which uh, I do have also, so we'll see what the condition of that is. Um, but yeah, I don't actually have the um, playset itself, so I might actually get that soon. Look at these big hands on him. <laughs> Such big hands. Anyway, let's talk a bit of articulation here. So the face does not go left. Well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really move. That's me bending the plastic more. Um, tiny bit of a movement going up and down i think it's bent his ear there arms they do go up and all the, they can go all the way around um there is a elbow joint and the hands do go around a little bit loose on the hand there but no big issue there is a slight crunch of the abs there the legs do go up and down a little bit hinted here by this um belt piece but it's all right uh, the knees do have a hinge and they do rotate if you want to rotate. <laughs> Peg holes on the bottom of the feet and the feet have no articulation. So there we go. Um, yeah, so great sculpt from the face there. That's quite nice. Um, obviously, the hands are always quite iconic, being quite big. Have a look around. This. Um, Belt piece, I think could be, I don't know, what, they could have done a bit more design here, I think, but no biggie. Um, yeah, not a bad figure. So it just come with two uh, blasters, which I will show you. Uh, this one just there, which is nice. And this one as well. Great, great. So let me see if I can put these into his hands. As you know, I'm not very good at articulating figures. But I will be, uh, you know, practicing more, playing more with the toys. I'm growing up my loose collection, so I'm sure you'll see, you know, more reviews like this. So there we go, guys. What do you reckon? Not bad at all. <laughs> but 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.